Hey, hello everybody, we are back here on the Hunter Call of the Wild. We have a, a pretty good duck in front of us. We're gonna take this out real quickly. Uh, there is somebody that just came over near me, so I do need to quickly get this thing down before they spook it off. So there we go, we just got ourselves a pretty good sized level 2 mallard. Uh, but anyway, welcome back to the Hunter Call of the Wild everyone. Today we are going to start our search for a super rare. I've been seeing a lot of cool super rares getting posted recently, including one that my brother ended up getting. He shot a diamond albino mule deer with the best rack possible. And it made me want to get a super rare myself. It's been a very long time since I've killed a super rare and I thought it might be kind of fun to grind in multiplayer a bit to try and get one. So over the course of the next few weeks and uh, well, hopefully not the next few months, but if it comes to it, we will. I do want to try and grind for a super rare. So hopefully we can end up accomplishing that sooner than later. We didn't get one all of 2021, I don't believe. Uh, at least not something that everybody would consider a super rare. So. Hopefully, we will be able to accomplish that this year. Alright, here is our little mallard duck. I don't think this is any special fur type. It looks like it is just a common, and it is a gold. Actually, no, that was a brown hybrid. Wow. If that thing had actually made diamond, that would have been so cool. I don't have a brown hybrid diamond, so that would have been like the ideal trophy to get. Unfortunately, not quite large enough, but still a pretty decent mallard to uh, start the day off with. But uh, let's get back out there and hopefully find ourselves some diamonds or uh, at least some small rares or something like that. Oh, there we go. That right there is a pretty good sized feral goat. This uh, video is going to be a similar format to the one we did the other day where we kind of just visit different maps and just search for whatever we can find. That is a really good looking goat right there. I don't know if that's going to be a diamond or if it's going to troll. I feel like that one might be a diamond. But I have had such a hard time determining whether or not they're diamonds or trolls in the past, so it's kind of hard to say. But that one is kind of looking good at first glance. It's got good curl. Hopefully this thing will end up making it, and hopefully it'll be a really big one. Yeah, that thing definitely looks decent. The question is, will it be above 208? Because I believe 208 is diamond, and I think... At least from my experience, more than 70% of the feral goats end up trolling, so it's got a good chance of trolling, but I don't know, this one's actually looking pretty decent. Hopefully this will be a nice diamond feral goat. Well, there it is, a very nice looking feral goat, and from what I can tell, I don't know, I think this thing is gonna make it. But uh, like I was saying, I've been wrong many times with these feral goats, so let's uh, see what this guy ends up being. It is just a gold at 201. You know, I don't know why I didn't expect that, but you know what? It is what it is. It's still a level 5 and a pretty good sized feral goat. Sadly, not a diamond though. Well, we just managed to find a Rancho Del Arroyo server that is at the correct time for Collard Peccary, so hopefully we can end up finding ourselves a good one over at the crater over here. Uh, this server does have a decent amount of need zones on it, so it's definitely been hunted pretty heavily. However, there's no need zones at the lakes for uh, Collard Peccary, so hopefully this guy's just never hunted them and we might have a chance of finding our first diamond or rare peccary. I've been wanting one of those ever since they released, but just have not really got the chance to uh, take one out. So hopefully today will be the day. Well, I don't see anything too crazy here, so we're probably just going to pick out the best level 4, which is that guy right there. It does have an estimate above diamond, but I don't think the peccaries can actually make diamond at level 4. So, let's uh, just go ahead and take this guy out with the 6.5 and uh, see what it ends up scoring. It's still a pretty nice one, just not quite what I'm after. But let's go ahead and take it. And let's get that one also just to get a second one down. Now we just uh, watch them all pour out of the crater and see if we can spot anything we might have missed. All right, well, as we try to avoid the uh, constant stampede of collared peccary. Let's uh, go ahead and claim both of these. This is the uh, little gray female that we just took as a bonus and this should be the good level four. Let's uh, go ahead and take a look at it. That actually might be the uh, ochre variant. I'm not sure but it kind of looks like it. No, it is just a brown. 122.60. Not gonna lie, when that peccary hit me, that actually scared me a little bit. Let's uh, go ahead and heal before we get hit again. Oh, okay. All right, let's just let's just get out of here. This is uh, becoming a little bit ridiculous. <laughs> 
Well, we've got ourselves a pretty good sized Rio Grande turkey out there. Let's see if we can get this thing down. Hopefully it'll end up being a level two diamond. As most of you probably know at this point, this uh, Wade estimate, the nine to 11 ones, have a pretty decent chance of being a diamond, even at level two. So it's always good to get them down just on the off chance that they'll end up making it. Well, there we have it. Let's hope this ends up being a pretty good sized one. Even if it's not, it'll still be a decent turkey. 4.30, so nowhere near diamond, but still a pretty good one. We did manage to get a right lung hit on that as well, so it took it down really, really fast. Well, that right there is a level five warthog, so we did finally find something, and that is probably going to be a diamond, I would imagine. I don't remember what diamond is. I think it's like 58 or 59. So that one does have a decent chance of making it. Uh, let's go ahead and try to take a shot on it. I actually came over here to look for some Cape Buffalo, but instead we ended up finding a Warthog. So, I mean, I can't really complain there. It's a diamond regardless, or at least it should be a diamond provided it uh, makes the required score. Let's uh, see if we can get a shot on this thing. And we are using the 6.5. This thing is very flat shooting, so I'm pretty confident we can hit this provided it doesn't walk too far forward. And that is a hit. The question is, yes, we did make it into the lung. Well, that's pretty awesome. We just got ourselves a, a, a possible diamond uh, warthog. You know, to be honest, I really do enjoy this style of video where we kind of just visit different maps in multiplayer and see what we can manage to find. It's quite a bit of fun, and I really feel like it helps with uh, just getting some trophies we normally wouldn't chase after. Like, I hardly ever hunt for the Warthog, but we've stumbled across a couple Diamond Warthogs in the recent, uh, like, two or three weeks, I think. And it's all just because I was hunting in places I normally wouldn't. And that right there is a Diamond at 61.50. That is super awesome. This is the gray fur type and I believe this is actually going to go into our main lodge because it is better than a couple of the ones that we have up currently. So that's pretty awesome. We got ourselves a diamond war dog. Not the diamond I was expecting to find today, but still a pretty cool one. Well, it wouldn't be a Verhonga hunt without at least one aggressive buffalo. So let's uh, do our best to get this thing down. I believe it should die eventually and now it definitely will. Oh my gosh, that is a diamond potential Cape Buffalo. I believe that is small horns. It uh, definitely looks like it. And I think we're about to get attacked. Oh my gosh. Yep, we are. Well, let's uh, try to get this shot in. I think we might be able to make this before we get hit. Hopefully at least because uh, I don't really want to shoot. It'll spook it off. That's him right there. All right, let's just try to get around this one that's attacking us and see if we can get a shot into this guy. I think this is our chance right here. Yep, that got him. That definitely got him. Now we can deal with this thing. Let's hope this guy right here ends up being the diamond that we have been looking for. It's been a bit since we've had a diamond cape buffalo. We've had a couple trolls recently. Hopefully this one will not be a troll, although knowing my luck with the small horns, it probably is. But I guess uh, let's go ahead and see. It is just a gold. Once again, 150.40. Why doesn't that surprise me? This has just been my luck with Cape Buffalo as of recent. It's uh, not going to end anytime soon, it seems. The trend of getting gold level 9s is just going to continue on, it appears. Well, this Warthog is indeed bigger than at least one of these. Yeah, it's bigger than two of them, actually. So uh, let's go ahead and replace this one right here with our brand new Diamond Warthog. And I believe they were both gray fur types as well, so that is perfect. We have a gray there, a gray there, a red brown there, and a red brown up there. I think that's pretty cool. We have them kind of angled across from each other with the two albino females on the very ends. I definitely like this layout, and I think this might be the way it stays for quite a while since we've been getting some large warthogs. I don't think we're going to get another one over 61 anytime soon, so it's looking like this will be the way this wall will stay for quite a long time. 
It really is unfortunate that we couldn't get a diamond cape buffalo. I was really hoping that guy would make it. It's been so long since we had one, but it is what it is. It's uh, still a cool thing to come across, even if it didn't quite make diamond. However, that diamond warthog definitely made this hunt good at least. But we're going to go ahead and end it there. Our search for a super rare unfortunately ended with nothing on day one. We are going to continue searching though throughout 2022, and hopefully we can come across some pretty awesome trophies in the meantime. But with that being said, if you're brand new to the channel, be sure to subscribe, click that like button, and ring that notification bell so that you guys will never miss any of the future uploads. Also, be sure to leave a comment down below if you guys enjoyed the video, and also just let me know what maps we should hunt for a super rare. I really think that maps like Silver Ridge Peaks and Rancho Del Arroyo and Verhonga are probably going to be the easiest ones to accomplish that on, but let me know what you think down in the comments and I will reply to as many as I can. But with that being said, thank you guys for watching and I will see you all in the next one. Peace!